Hi, my name is Juliana. I'm from Brazil. I'm a pastry student at ICCA at the moment. Uh, and I'm doing today a recipe for the US egg competition. So what I'm doing is an egg sponge cake. That's a very uh, traditional cake in Portugal. So uh, we call that in Portugal, pão de ló. It's basically a sponge cake with lots of eggs. We use that for uh, coffee time, tea time, after dinner, especially with some coffee, with some cheese, fruits, dry fruits is very common as well. So I'm gonna show you now the ingredients and I, we're gonna do step by step this recipe. 100 grams of flour. We're gonna use very little flour on this sponge cake. We have here only one teaspoon of salt. We have here 225 grams of caster sugar. Here we have three whole eggs. And our main ingredient is 12 egg yolks. As you can see, is the uh, maximum part of this recipe is the egg yolks. For garnish, and as you can eat that with fruits and cheese, I'm having here some berries for decoration as well. I'm having here some figs as a dry fruits. We have here some figs, dry figs and apricots, yep. I um, have here some parmesan and some white cheddar to go with, but you can eat that with many kind of cheese. Uh, now we're gonna start from the steps. We're gonna start in sifting the flour because it's a very irate mixture that we want. So we're gonna do, we want everything very, very light, okay? So I'm gonna here sift the flour. I have here a bowl and a simple sifter. I'm gonna just put my 100 grams of flour here. And I'm gonna sift all this flour inside of this bowl. Okay, all nice and very aerated already. But we're gonna sift it again when we put in the egg mixtures, okay? So I'll set this flour aside. And now I'm gonna take this bowl from the stand mixer. Yeah, we need a bigger bowl because this, all the volume, is gonna have 10 times more volume in the end. So we need to prepare for a bigger bowl, okay? So we're gonna put here now all our stars, which is the eggs, yeah? I'm gonna put the three eggs first. My 12 egg yolks. I'm gonna have here my spatula to help me because we want all these eggs in the mixture. I'm gonna have here the 225 grams of sugar. And now we're gonna put as well the one teaspoon of salt just to balance the flavors, yeah? So this is uh, basically our mixture. What's missing here is the flour that we're gonna sip later. You're gonna see that we don't have uh, any leavening agent, we don't have yeast, we don't have uh, baking powder because the egg itself is gonna do all the job on this uh, recipe, okay? So I'm gonna now put this on the stand mixer, yeah? I'm gonna use the balloon and we're gonna uh, mix this for about 25 to 30 minutes. We're gonna see, I'm gonna show you guys what's the texture, what's the size we're gonna need to find. We're gonna take at least 25 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna show you guys what we're looking for because we're gonna aerate these eggs with the sugars and the salt as much as we can, yeah? Okay, so now we're gonna stay here for about five minutes in the power four, which is low power, uh, to have all the air that we can from the beginning. It's gonna, we're gonna, it's gonna take a little bit of patience, but we're gonna get there. Okay, so now it's passing the first five minutes. I went for the low for medium power here and we start to aerating our mixture a bit more. So now we are ready with our mixture. As you can see, our mixture is much whiter and it's as well really fluffy. It's kind of a meringue uh, texture 
and that's what we're looking for. We look for a lot of air and I would say that's 10 times the size that we started with. And what we have to do now, we have to start putting the sifted flour and we're gonna sift it again, yes? So I have here my sifter again and I have my flour. I'm gonna be little by little, just a little bit. I'm gonna sift a little bit and I'm gonna start to fold. It's important to have a flexible spatula because we don't want to lose any of this bubble that we don't have to lose. So now I have here uh, some baking paper with some butter to not stick because as is, this is a very aerated mixture, it can stick very easily as well. And it's a very soft mixture. So we're looking here for a, a sponge cake, very soft and uh, full of air and fluffy, okay? So now I'm gonna put here my dough on this tray. So now we're ready to go and bring this to bake. We're gonna bake for 45 minutes in 160 degree. Of course, we're gonna do the toothpick uh, test before we take it out from the oven, but uh, it has to be in lower temperature and it has to take their own time to bake it, yeah? Okay, I'm gonna go take this one for the baking and I'm gonna see you guys in a bit after this one's looking beautiful. That's my egg sponge cake and uh, it's great to have with the coffee, with the tea, after dinner and as a dessert with some fruits with a light dessert. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much.